What's going on, family? You're tuned in to Real Lazarus Radio 104.1, your nightcap of comedy. My name is Cam Miller in the big chat tonight. It is July 31st, Monday. It is the end of the month, and we have made it. We have made it through July. Thank you guys for listening. We are back. Brand new shows. Um, Join the virtual studio with my boy Miguel Colon Jr. James is out. Uh, I think he had like two weeks off at his 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 job of um tv and i think he's been back on the road and stuff so james is out so it's just me and miguel uh miguel what's up with you man how was Nothing, your weekend man. brother it's good you know what? i always get mad at james because when he takes his vacation he brings his whole family yeah. with him and i'm like james no dog this vacation Bro. leave him yeah Yo, and, and, and you're an empty nester like yeah, yeah. It's like they don't want to be empty nesters. Mm -mm, they don't. They don't. They're that. You know, they're, they're that couple that I guarantee you in two years they're gonna have some foreign exchange student living <laughs> in their house. They're gonna adopt that kid in the neighborhood that doesn't have a family. Yeah. They're basically the parents from that '70s show. They're yeah. never gonna not have kids in their house. That's funny. Twenty years from now, some kids gonna be drafted to the NFL and thank James and Michelle because they're gonna make it the blind side too. Start. <laughs> James and Michelle gonna, gonna gonna adopt a white kid, and he's gonna be he's gonna be accepting his award as a NASA scientist with a do rag on and a grill. <laughs> so, uh, hey man, I remember Mama Michelle. Appreciate it, Mama. You know? And, and you know it'd be great if he yeah. did the dong joke. <laughs> <laughs> this one for you, Daddy. Pulls his pants down. <laughs> you get this Nobel Prize, and he starts twerking. <laughs> <laughs> if you've never seen James, James closer is he strips down to a thong and a and a bra is what a fat stripper would look like. So somebody um, told me James' body looked like a ninja turtle when he's naked. <laughs> like <laughs> his back like a big shell, yeah. and then it go down to nothing. I told him he built like a twin mattress. I was like, bro, you <laughs> a mattress, bro. A lumpy old mattress on the side of the room, man. Uh you do some comedy this weekend? What I do this weekend? Yeah, I did some comedy this week. Oh, I did Don't Tell Comedy by Jake Rika puts that production on. Yeah. Don't tell comedy is great, man. It's so good, bro. It's so good. This time we did it at, at a, a place called Hire. It's like a smoke shop on Colonial. Mm -hmm. And what a lineup. We had uh what, what I've just met her, Brittany, Brittany Brave, Brittany Brave from Miami. She did uh -huh. really well. Um, and then uh we had I had I had David Jolly. Oh, we had Larry Fulford. I hadn't seen Larry Fulford in years. Uh, and then David Jolly, Spunky, and then me. And then and it was a great show. Great show. Nice. I had nice. a blast. Yeah, I was in uh shout out to Gregory's man. One of the best weekends I've had at that club in a long time, bro. And and, and we've talked about comedy on this show a lot. Thursday was 17 people. Yeah, and I had more fun at that show. I was telling the, the one of the comics on the show. He was like, "Hey, man, you." I say, "Bro, it's I don't care if it's I I performed for seventeen thousand people before. Yeah, I had more fun at this show. Yeah, it it was just way more fun. Friday was fun. Saturday I did a mic drop. I was like, <laughs> I don't need this room. Because yeah, ah. Friday I had to deal with the the space shuttle taking off." Oh wow! So I was you right there on the I'm coast, like, man. Yeah, bro. I was like, nobody's coming to this. Yeah, like nobody's coming. And dude, it was packed. And then as soon as I got done selling merch, they was outside. Everybody yeah, was yeah. outside to go see this. I'm inside drinking. I was like, I'm good, man. But shout out to Gregory's Cocoa Beach, man. It was a really, really, really good weekend, man. Really good weekend, bro. So shout out to them, and I, I promised them I would give the club a shout out. So if you're in the Cocoa Beach area, which by the way. Apparently, a lot of people out there listen to Real Radio. <laughs> so if y'all in the Cocoa Beach area, this is your shout out if you came to the show this weekend. And also, shout out to Jake Rika for Don't Tell. Oh, if you, if you, if Google Don't Tell Orlando and get on their mailing list. I'm telling you, it is an amazing... It's, it's so... It's not your typical comedy show. You're going to mess around and go to a comedy show and it's going to be in a Wawa. Yeah, like you don't know where it's going to be <laughs> till the day of. Yeah. And then they put on such a good production, though. Yeah. And it's dope, man. Yeah. I was really, I, I, I'm proud of Jake Regan because I've known Jake, you've known him too since the beginning. And uh, like, I've known Jake since he started comedy. And I've seen some of the people he started comedy with. Mm -hmm. And I've watched him grow and do all the smart decisions and, and, and see that. And I'm proud of him. Yeah, man, good dude, man. So shout out to everybody, man. He wear them skinny uh, jeans though. That's a big dude. 
Yeah. Jake Reed got them skinny jeans on. Yeah. That's what, Jake Reed is a big lumberjack dude. He got them skinny jeans on, man. I could I could see the veins in his sack, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Reed got a pair of skinny jeans on. I looked at him. I said, "Hey, man, you might you might want to get checked. That's a lump." You yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. Right. <laughs> Bro, you got on the blood pressure. Yeah, you got the blood pressure ribbon on, bro. You need to do something about that, bro. I feel, yeah. I feel like when you got skinny jeans on, the minute you unzip, you got to pee. It just pushes it out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, hey, you got to roll them things down like a fruit roll up. Yeah. Skinny <laughs> jeans, don't even, you don't even they don't come off like you know regular jeans. You unbutton and they yeah. just fall. Skinny jeans, you got to roll them things. <laughs> hey, like you in a wheelchair. <laughs> you, hey, you, you <laughs> Like some old lady in a village rolling cigars in Cuba. <laughs> you got to roll them things off like a cigar, bro. Hey, man. Skinny hey. jeans make your feet look like you're wearing Yeezys because they put so much pressure on your ankles. It just swell your feet up. Hey, feet look like a, like when Bugs Bunny them used to blow them. Yeah. <laughs> if you get wet in a pair of skinny jeans, you need the paramedics now. Bro, you gotta he got caught in the rain. Get him off him. Get him <laughs> off him. Look like a sushi wrap. You know yeah. Right? <laughs> it's like the medic. They come up just cutting the jeans off. Uh, you going to be all right, brother. Yeah. Look at me. Look at me. You going to be all right. You'll be all right, yo. They got the jaws of life to get you up out them jeans, bro. You fart in a skinny jean. You see the bubble the whole time. <laughs> Holding it in, man. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. But we gotta give a shout out to our sponsor, Wine for Oysters, over on Dr. Phillips and Alafaya Trail. Make sure you guys check out Wine for Oysters. Every Sunday they got live music, mimosas, bloody Mary, sangrias, one price you can mix it, mix and match drinks, also French crepes, um, shrimp and grits, and their smoked tuna devil eggs. So make sure you go check out our new sponsors, Wine for Oysters on Dr. Phillips and East Orlando. If you go up in there and tell them real laugh sent you, you will get an oyster shooter um on them. Man, it has been crazy, Miguel. We got to talk. What's up? We got to talk. It's been a crazy, crazy week in the news. What in the hell is up with these UFOs? Bro, I'm going to tell you this much. Uh, they're going to do anything right now to keep us from asking who was on Epstein's flight list. <laughs> 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 to the point where they're like, hey, I just got a question. Have we got the uh, flight list for Epstein? Y'all want to meet a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> they bring the ghost to Lincoln out. He's all shackled up. He's like, what's going on? Tell him. Tell him. What's going on? <laughs> Bigfoot's on deck like, hey, man, it's getting tough out here, yo. Yo, man. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Like, Ken, I'm going to say this, man. I think I've always believed that there has to be other life somewhere in in, in the universe, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and okay. it has to. I just like, there's too much space. We can't be the only thing. I don't know what else is out there. Stuff may not look like us. Stuff might not even be built like us. Stuff could be smaller scale life forms than us. I don't know. But I always believed that there was other life out there. And I wasn't always sure about like all the reports and stuff you hear. But I was always like, nah, there's definitely other life. But I just never thought the day that they dropped, like there's probably aliens out there. It wasn't even going to lead the stories. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they were like, hey, by the way, there's some aliens, and, you know, Russia's probably going to start World War III, and everybody's like, cool, man. Uh, what's going on that Barbie movie? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you heard of this new website called Threads? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Elon Musk is silly. I hope yeah. him and Mark Zuckerberg do fight. Yeah, yeah. The Twitter's called X now. Like, yeah. Like, nobody, like that. nobody cared. But I was talking to my partner. I was like... You know, this is my thing when it comes to like aliens, and I'm even yeah. use Russia as an example as, as well. Every time there's a bad guy in one of our movies, they're Russian. Yeah. It's like a, the Russians, the Russians, the Russians. I'm always thinking when the Russians have a movie, are the bad guys American? Yeah, yeah, they gotta be. It's gotta be like, look at these fat guy doing what he wants to do today. Yeah, Boring! Yeah, yeah. So I flip it. So if the aliens always coming down here destroying Earth, do aliens have movies where we come to their planet and destroy them? We just in their planet looking in their butts. <laughs> like, like, I'm always like wondering, what's the flip to that? Like, are aliens like... Is there like a Will Smith on you know on Planet Earth seventy one, and and the alien Will Smith is is you know what I mean like yeah 
He's, he's flying jets and blowing up these humans that are coming to destroy Earth on Independence Day. And their Independence Day is July 1st for some yeah. reason. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like it's just a good month. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone can barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they got Area 57. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? like, it's like, 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 like one of these aliens have the same thing going on that we going got going on. The aliens land and they're like, uh, we they get here and, and they can land in their spaceship and we're like, what what are you here to teach us? Like we're just looking for oil. <laughs> <laughs> we heard y'all got weapons of mass destruction and oil, so you know yeah. we come yeah. to liberate y'all. <laughs> we we heard y'all blew up two of our buildings in New York, New York, you know. <laughs> so we, you know, man, we fired up to get you now. Yeah. Dude, that always shocks me. I'm always like, man, because I don't, you know, I don't believe in any of it. I yeah. don't believe in aliens. I don't believe in Bigfoot. I don't believe in any of that stuff, ghosts or any. I don't believe in any of that. But my, I'm always thinking, like, if if it is to, do, uh, is it the flip side for them? Do aliens think, have, you know, go I through what they, humans going through? They pass by Earth because we're just like a ghetto to them. They're like, ew, Earth, ugh, again. All right, we'll go. We'll go look at some butts over there, but I'd rather go to Blipnar Seven. <laughs> Earth weird, man. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's the other thing about aliens that's weird to me. Why the butt? Why why everybody get abducted by aliens? Can. It's always the butt, bro. Yeah, man, because we the only species got the bubble. <laughs> you know, the rest of them all flat. They land over here. They see that juice in the poop. They're like, "What's going on there?" What happened was the first place aliens ever landed was the Dominican Republic, and since then they just been obsessed with butts. They like, look at that one, because the little grays ain't got no ain't got no juice in their poop. They ain't got no dookie, Yo. you know. But they landed here. That's why they, when they land in China, they just do regular studies. You know? <laughs> They, they, actually do, they actually do math tests over yeah. there. Yeah, like, man, how smart are you? They come over to America, man. Open that butt up. Open that butt up. Let me see that <laughs> thing. Let me see that star, girl. Aliens <laughs> are weird, man. Aliens are weird. If aliens, aliens are, are weird, weird are, are real, aliens are weirdos, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. a weird thing to come kidnap somebody from their home to take them into space, check that booty hole out, and then drop them back off where you got them. Hey, the worst thing is aliens are going to land here. And we're gonna be like, hey man, you know, so what's up with what's up with all that butt study stuff? And they're gonna be like, huh? And they'll be like, yo, Craig, man, what you been up to? He's like, Y'all let me do what I wanted to do. <laughs> I spent 200 years looking at butts. That was not on the did you ever did you check out any of the animals? Nah, player. No. I like them butts. <laughs> yo, and Craig worked the night shift. So, yeah, hey, hey, man, he by himself. What's going on by myself, man? I just want to see what was coming out this hole, bro. Yeah, I just don't get it, yo. Why they got a butt? <laughs> why don't they just got a snip lard like everyone else? You know, <laughs> they, why they ain't got the snorkel? Bitch? Yeah, oh, everything come out the nose for us. Yeah, they they, they got a butt. That's weird. Why would you want to sit on your stock long? You know, <laughs> this is weird, man. I also yeah. did some gross stuff with a lion. <laughs> I just, you know, I just yeah. landed one day in Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's uh, I, I created this thing called a liger. It was, yeah, <laughs> that was all me. Craig, I made, I made <laughs> Steph Curry. <laughs> <laughs> Craig is the reason why unicorns are extinct. Hey, man, yeah. I, just, I took the little nose thing off my bad, bro. I ain't like it. I came down. I said, nah, I ain't feeling this. Yeah, this is corny, yo. Yeah. <laughs> this is silly right here, man. Oh, my goodness. So, to the aliens, hopefully you got 104.1. If you do, thank you for listening. We appreciate that. <laughs> and if you happen to swing by a popka, please do not pick me up. I do not do butt stuff. With that being said, we got to take a commercial break. Uh, I'm curious, how long have you lived in Florida? I've lived here now 20 years now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, gotta, yeah. I gotta, okay. I wanted James to be on because I got a question about Florida weather because I've been here 20 years and yeah. I got a question about Florida, but I'm, I'm gonna ask you anyway when yeah. we get back. We'll be right back. Real Labs, we're Radio 104.1. We're back. We're last. We're ready. one of 104.1, your nightcap of comedy. My name is Ken Miller in the big chair tonight. Guys, do me a favor. Go out to Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Please follow us. Go out to YouTube. Subscribe to our page so you can see these beautiful faces. And if you've missed any of our shows, do me a favor. Go on, on over to Re iHeart. Search Real Last. And you can listen to all our shows and podcast format for the past seven years. Year. Shout out to our sponsors, Wine for Oysters, East Orlando, and Dr. Phillips. Go check out their brunch every Sunday. Un unlimited mimosas, Bloody Mary, Sangrias, Shrimp and Grits, Tuna Deviled Eggs, 
crepes, all that stuff, and walk up in there on happy hour, four to six weekdays, two dollars off draft and wine, fifty percent off cocktails and oyster shooters. I also let them know Real Lab sent you, and you can get an oyster shooter. Um, man, I wanted James on because I think James has lived here his whole life, right? Mm -hmm. James yeah, is a yeah. Floridian. <clears throat> He's from Tallahassee originally, yeah. Okay, because I got a question about weather here, and I just wanted to know as a kid for James, was Florida this damn hot? I don't know. I, I you know what? I remember as a kid coming to Florida and being like, it's hot. Like we would come visit here because I had aunts that lived out here, but I don't know. I don't know if, if I don't know. I know this also though. I know that I'm way softer than I was when I was a kid. Because oh, I used to ride a bicycle in the jeans at 98 bro. degrees. 100%. And yeah, just drink some hot hose water and I was ready to go. 100%. Dude, I was I was talking to my brother about it. We have an air conditioner. We had a fan in our window in, the, in North Carolina in the south in so, the summertime. Yeah, so. and, and I'm looking back on it now. I'm like, how are we not dead? Yeah. I can't. Nowadays, I've been to play. I stayed at an Airbnb with this girl and the air condition was weak. And I literally was like, "Come on, we're gonna check into a hotel." She's like, "We yeah. pay for the Airbnb." I said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight this. I'm gonna get our money back." But it's not even a concern right now. We're checking into a hotel. Like, yeah, it's, I can't even do the bro. I can't like, like my wife during the day. She wants the AC on like seventy eight, mm -mm, and I'm can't. like, man, I'm gonna go sit in the car. And yeah, <laughs> seventy eight. That's basically yeah. eighty five, bro. You know? I'm like, man, I can't just. I was just curious about the weather because like. I, I, I'm I'm not starting to pay more attention to it. Yeah, it'll be 108 degrees. Then it just starts storming. Yeah. Then it will just rain, and then the rain it'll rain for 45 hard seconds with 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 hail and lightning and everything. Then it's gone. Yeah, and then it's hotter. Then it's, hot again. it's like a sauna. <laughs> Then it's gone again. So I was just curious for James. I was hoping he was on the show because I was going to ask him was weather like that when he was a kid. Ken, have you ever had a car without AC? Yes. Have you ever? Was it here or was it somewhere else? It was here. It was okay. Here. It was here. Yeah. So you've been trapped in them I four storms, and you got no, and it's just fogging up, Whoa. and you still drive. <laughs> Yo. You like, going, got you like this? You yeah. Like this white. Man, man, 65 like, I, miles through a storm, you can't even see cars man, shaking because of lightning. I like, pull, I hope Buddy I got his brake lights over. on. I yeah, just pull over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brake lights flat. I, I just yeah. pull over, man. Because I, yeah, my last, I had the Mitsubishi, I had a Mitsubishi Galant, and I had it for like 10 years. Yeah. And uh, every three months, I would have to, uh, you Refill know, that the fear, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, are, yeah, are you yeah, 40, yeah, whatever? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had to put that in, and then it would be good for about a couple weeks. And then yeah. everything. And finally, I was like, "Man, I got to get a new car, bro. Like, yeah. I got it because I would go on a date. That's the worst. Oh, oh. you pick a girl up. She she'll like, mention Yo. it. You don't got AC instantly right there. They don't want anything to do with you yeah. anymore. Yeah. They're like, I'm he ain't like, got AC. He ain't got AC. Or I'd be like, Yo, man, pull the window down. You know, something a little romantic. Yeah, yeah it's ninety nine degrees sweat. in this car. <laughs> Hey, make her sweat like she just got in an acid bath. You get it? Here's the thing. <laughs> she fell in the Joker water. Here's the thing, too. If you guys have never had a car without AC in Florida, this is the thing. Uh, you, you're hot. You're outside. You're getting to your car. There's not a happy moment. Oh, I'm finally in my car. Yeah. Because it's not going to get any cooler. It's just going to be hotter. And, and it's the worst, man. I tried. Yeah. I tried. There's no lie. It's probably like a month or two ago. It, no, it was it was June. So yeah, June. I was like, let me drive to work without the AC on, like I used to when my car didn't have the AC. Can't I got like ten minutes down the road. I was like, this is experiment stupid. I was like, this is stupid. Yeah, I, it was it. Uh, MythBusters. They did the the thing where they drove with the AC on and for the gas AC mileage and stuff. for gas mileage. Yeah. and they was in there. I'm like, bro, ain't no a yeah. Ain't no way, man. Yesterday, man, I took me and my family went to the farmers market at Lake Eola. Yeah, and we was sweating. I said, like, "You have to be used to Florida." Yeah, because it was packed. I mean, people were walking around this farmer market, and I'm with my wife. I'm like, "Yo, they this like people just do this. They're yeah, just walking around in this heat, bro." Yeah, 
eating corn on a stick. Yeah, like, ooh, let me get some fajitas. <laughs> Come up, sizzling fajita. It's, yeah. it's, it's so hot. The fajita is colder than the environment. So when you eat it, it cools you down. I was like, yo, and then we got back in the car. We sweating like crazy. Yeah. We were going to go to the movies. I said, man, we going home. Cut my butt sweating. I yeah. don't want to get picked up by the alien. And I then they go get a sweat butt. To be clean. Yeah, I'm all <laughs> clean, but I was. I'm like, Florida weather is re. It's ridiculous, man. So I saw somebody post on Facebook the day AC was down. I say, man, you can come over here. Yeah, I don't even know come. you. I don't, yeah, I don't even know you like that. We just Facebook friends, but man, I feel that. That's how bad you feel when somebody. Yeah. Like, somebody like, hey man, my AC bro. Hey man, look. I know me and you don't see eye to eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> man, come on over, bro. I feel bad for you without no AC, dog. It's horrible. Pat, yeah, Pat Garrity used to have a joke about how he didn't have an AC, so he would put his T-shirts in the freezer <laughs> 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 and put them on. <laughs> hey. he, said he, he said he would drive, like, be speeding from one light to the other light <laughs> to, to get the cool way. air. <laughs> Hey, I was in, this was like 2011. I was in Jamaica. I was there for a couple of weeks. I was with my homeboy, though. I wasn't like at a resort. Uh, my homegirl, Katie, and her ex-husband, uh, he was Jamaican, and he lived in Trelawney. And we were out there in this place uh, in Trelawney where we was kicking it. But we were at a house, just a regular house, hanging out. It wasn't like, so when everybody, everybody talks to me about Jamaica, I'm always like, oh, Jamaica. And they're like, what? The <laughs> all inclusive. I was like, no, I was in a neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, they had yeah. They had a window AC unit in the living room, but nowhere else. And it was like a two-story house. And it wasn't like on the water where you got the windows open, you're catching the breeze. This is just a neighborhood. And every night I would sneak in to take another shower when everybody was asleep at like three o'clock in the morning just to cool my body down. And then I would take the box fan and lay it on my <laughs> naked stomach <laughs> while I slept, yo. <laughs> every night I wake up cuddling the box fan like, yeah. <laughs> you get your make out of oh, yeah. So, so and that's another one then. People who go to like Jamaica and uh, and like China, like you got to go see real Jamaica. Yeah, you got to go see. That doesn't happen. You don't go to Disney World, but like, yo, you got to go to Pine Hills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to go see real Orlando. Like that and, only happens when we go to foreign countries, bro. And I had this argument with this girl Kaylee because she's been around the world too, and uh, she travels. She does all these festivals. She was doing all the Burning Man festivals and stuff. So. One of the things that I had this argument with her for was because she was talking about when uh, I was telling her when the last time when I was like in Italy and I was hanging out with my homeboy and uh, I was telling her, me and him were talking about going to see uh, our homeboy Lee in in Taiwan or excuse me in in Thailand and I was telling her like you know Lee Lee's balling like he's got he's got a dope flat he he's got a like a penthouse and she was like. Ugh. She was like, that's not the real Thailand. <laughs> and I was like, listen, I was like, white people like to go visit poor people and have fun. Yeah. I was like, Lee's family can probably be traced down to Thailand for like 700 years. He's just doing really well. But they wanted to be, she wants to be like, but that's not the real Thailand. I'm like, you like Thailand don't got rich people? Yeah, Thailand don't yeah. got rich people too? Yeah. Like the real, the, and whenever people tell you the real, because what if somebody told you the real Orlando was like some trailer park somewhere and you're like, nah, I am. Most people in Orlando got a pool, you know. Like, <laughs> like, like, like yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Like, I've never been went to a foreign country, but like, yo, I gotta go to the real now, nah, dog. Show no, me where the, show me where the tourists go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's get fake as hell, yo. Hell, yo. Look at this AC. That's how <laughs> like, when we were when we were just in Mexico. Uh, we were walk, we were walking down the streets of Cancun. We were walking down. Everybody was like, "Hey, you want to come here? You want to come here? You want to come here?" And they're all like touting you to come out. And one dude was like, "Hey, man, we got this club." Blah 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 blah. And all, all my boy Rowdy says, "Where's the AC?" This dude turns <laughs> around. He's like, "We got AC in our place." We were like. That's the bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we went on our honeymoon. We did Paris, London, um, Rome, and Venice. And I want to say we were in Rome. Maybe Paris and Rome. I can't remember. Italy got but no AC. Yeah. Yeah. We were walking around, you know, looking at stuff. And we walked through this neighborhood. And it's graffiti. And they got a trash can burning. And people yeah. around it. And they got music playing. And my wife like, oh, this is the real. I said, no. 
we need to go back to the yeah. <laughs> and, and she was upset. I'm like, yo, I'm I'm trying to protect you. First yeah. of all, we don't speak their any language here. We're obviously tourists. You know what I mean? I'm like, nah, man. She was so like, this the real now, nah, dog. No, no, nah. because everybody say that as they're passing through, but nobody wants to spend a night in nah, the real now. Nah, now, nah, nah, ooh, dog, we gonna spend the night in an Italian trap house? This is the real <laughs> vibe. <laughs> yo, I would never stay in the hostel because of the movie. I used to stay in hostels. I used to stay in <laughs> hostels all the time when I was young and I used to travel around. Now I'm just like, nah, I want my own bathroom. Yeah. But uh, when I used to stay in hostels, some of them were like barracks. And I stayed in a hostel uh, where we were in Poland and I got real sick. I, it was cold. So the first day we were in Poland, I was sick and I was taking Polish cough, cough syrup, which is basically promethazine. So I was on I was on my pimp seat. You know, I was <laughs> like, well, everybody's weird here. You guys are weird. <laughs> but we stayed in this Polish hostel and I remember... Uh, I was like, I, yeah, I was like 23 years old. I thought I was the G. I wake up, I'm all every all my friends are gone. It's like a big barrack full of people from everywhere. I start going in the fridge. I'm like, I'm just make me some food. I don't care whose food this is. Start making me up egg sandwiches. Everybody's looking at me like this guy's a jerk, you know. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and these three British dudes came up to me and they were like, oh, and they were talking to me. I was like, what's up, man? And they're like, where you from? And I was like, America. They were like, you here with those other three guys? And I was like, yeah. And they basically were like, well, check it out. They're like, it's us three you for he's like and then those russians over there and they're like and the russians think they run this joint he's like they do whatever they want they rock the tv whenever they want they eat everybody's food whatever they were like basically like why don't you get down with us and us seven can run this joint and i was like baby let's do it yo let's put let's put let's put let's put the um, revolution aside baby we've been friends so we there now like kind of like acting like we we, we run in this joint and i remember the russian dudes come up to me and the one british dude val and they're like, listen, there's no reason we all can't just run this place. And I was like, my <laughs> man's spitting. So for the whole four days we were there, we did what we were loud. We were all drinking the foosball. The foosball table would be empty and somebody would go to it. And the Russians would be like, yet I may want to play in a minute. <laughs> like, <laughs> but now I'll be in there and I'll be in a corner like. I don't want this. I want my own room and a toilet. I, I can room. just. I want to hey. sit on this toilet as long as I want. Man, I want my own room, bro. I right, man, I'm with you on that. That's why when I when, like when I do comedy and they put me in the condo, and I'm with the other comedian, and it's like one bathroom. Yeah, I'm like, oh y'all, y'all got me. Yeah, I need to poop and, and take yeah, care of this yeah. toilet the right way. Yeah, yeah. y'all got me, B. Y'all, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they got. That's why I don't do if it's a condo and I got to share with somebody in this one bathroom. I just go get my own room. Me too. Just, or when, or when they give you a hotel room. room and they're like, "It's for you in the feature." I'm always like, "Yo, they gave you a hotel room here." Yeah, yeah. Take and the I room. Take out room. Of my, I figured yeah, I'm out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, when I was 20, that was cool. Oh yeah. Now I'm 46. I'm not about to share no room with no. I want to be naked. I want to fire yeah. one off while watching Forensic Files. Bruh. You know? Right. Hey, man, I'm married and I don't want to share no room. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yo, you don't want to go lay on the couch? I go yeah. lay on the couch. Goodness gracious. Well, <laughs> I got to go to sleep watching Basketball Wives now. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good, man. <laughs> oh, man. That being said, man, we got to take a commercial break. We come back. I got to tell you how I'm a thug. But I do some sensitive stuff. <laughs> I'm a thug, Miguel. But I do do thug. some sensitive stuff. We'll be right back. Real Labs, Real Radio, 104.1. Back, Real Labs, Real Radio, 104.1. Your nightcap of comedy. It is Monday night, man. My name is Ken Miller in the big chair. If you guys haven't done it yet, please go out to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Follow us. Please go out to YouTube. Subscribe so you can see these beautiful faces. And if you miss any of our shows, you can go to iHeart, search Real Labs. And we are in podcast format, seven years of Real Laugh. So please go check it out. And also, you make sure you check out our sponsor, Wine for Oysters, East Orlando, and Dr. Phillips. Happy hour, four to six weekdays, $2 off draft wine, 50% off cocktails. They also have a great brunch every Sunday with live music, mimosas, and all that good stuff. And if you go in there and tell them Real Laugh sent you, you will get a free oyster shooter. Miguel, I'm a thug. I know it. You know I'm a thug. You know eight hours in the, the hole. HOA knows it. HOA, HOA knows it. Be, they know what's up, bro. But it's something that I love. I posted on Facebook the other day. I love. And I don't know if you like it too. 
I like Planet Earth or Our Planet documentaries. Oh, I love them, man. Especially I just because, like, love they, them, I love how they give personality to animals. Like, I'm watching this snake, and I really, like, care for it now. And they, I love when they name them, when they're like, Matumba the snake. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't think that's the same snake. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I was, dude, I love it so much. I was watching the making of Our Planet last <laughs> night on Netflix. And, buddy, dude, it's it's insane how they get this footage because it's like one the guy that was trying to get the um Siberian tiger, they yeah. were literally just living in the middle of Siberia in this like wooden shack for like months just to get a two minute clip of a tiger, bro. Like that's in, that's insane. Or the cats that were trucking through the Amazon just so they can get a. Uh, a monkey <laughs> like it's it's insane it's, to me what they went through to a, get this footage dude it's got to be interesting like talking to your boss you're like hey man week 16 no monkey no monkey <laughs> <laughs> like, i don't know what to do player i mean you tell me i mean don't tell me i'm not trying enough i'm living in the tree in the amazon right now dressed as a monkey so don't tell me I'm not trying, okay? <laughs> they got in a party city monkey costume. <laughs> no, no, nobody's saying you're not trying. Have you thought about banana? Have I thought about banana? I've been here 16 weeks, player. Yes, I thought about bananas. Yo, dude, one of them, the craziest one, bro. Buddy was swimming with some sharks off the coast. I can't remember the country. I'm talking about hundreds of them. I guess the sharks there are, like, protected. Yeah. And he's they're trying to get a video of their how they feed at night. And he's just I mean, calm. Yeah. Calm. Bro, I I was at a hot spring one time and a fish hit my leg. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we out. We out of here. We done. We done. <laughs> you know, there's one cameraman too. They're like hanging out in these trees for monkeys, and his girl's like, "Yeah, but I want to go to the real Amazon. <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is just monkey Amazon. I want to yeah, yeah. go where the monkeys hang out. Yeah, you want to go to the real Amazon? They take them to an Amazon warehouse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at this dude who worked 24 straight hours and peed on himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No bathroom breaks. It go to real Amazon, bro. It always blew my mind when people are like, yeah, they were peeing on themselves. No, I'm going to go use the bathroom. Yeah, I'm going to go use the bathroom. Wait, wait, wait tell me what this write-up's going to say. Yeah. At the end of the day, <laughs> sit me down with HR and be like, so what happened? I had the dookie, and the options were <laughs> dookie on the assembly line or dookie on myself or go to the bathroom yeah, and dookie. Uh, bro, my wife was clouding me last night. Uh because I was watching, you know, I was watching uh, our, our, Planet Earth, Planet. our Planet. Our Planet. It's Netflix, Our Planet, and BBC got Planet Earth. And uh, like I said, I put on Facebook, I'm a thug. I'm still watching it. But, but you know, people got to know that yeah, I'm a, Like, if I run stuff. up in the bank, everybody right now, get butt naked right now. Hey, man, did you know sloths don't like pooping everywhere? <laughs> Hey, player, I'm going to take my clothes off, but that's kind of a misconception. Let me fill you in. I saw the other one. <laughs> See, me and my girl was in the real sloth town. And <laughs> Put the money in the bag. You do know polar bear skin is actually black. <laughs> it's just translucent yeah. from the sun coming down. Like what? Polar bears just need to get jobs. <laughs> <laughs> they like, what is this dude talking about, bro? I love them shows, man. I, I love Shark Week. Shark Week's great. Shark Week's Bruh. been great since we were kids. Do you know Mark Rackley, one of the original and still a, 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 a videographer for Shark Week? Mark Rackley was one of the guys that invented all the techniques for Shark Week filming. And it was just him and another guy. Uh, he's real good friends with Busey. So he's come over to the house a bunch of times. We've hung out. We've taught. And, man, it's great because he'll tell you, like, 1980s Shark Week stories, like nice. before they really cared about everything. He's like, Oh, yeah. He's like, We'd be out there in the water. He was telling me one, one of the best stories he said was they landed in an island somewhere off of South America. And they were like, This was an island where like drug planes dropped off drugs all the time. But they had got a tip that there was lots of sharks over there. So he's like, They landed in there. They went out. They swam. They were filming and stuff like that. And then like their local guides were like, Yo, we got to go. We got to go. And he's like, They all got up they got their gear and as they rolled out he's like all we saw were all these zodiacs with dudes in them with rifles coming to the island because they had got word that a plane was chilling there with cameras and stuff 
Wow. Old 80s stories are the best. You talk to old NFL players about the 80s, they're like, my leg was broken, so I did a line of cocaine. <laughs> they shot me with some cortisone, brought in two hookers, and threw me 500000 cash and said, we're going to go to the playoffs. And I said, yes, Dang. we are. Dude, you know what's crazy? I didn't even know. I just recently found out Shark Week 10 years. I didn't know Shark Week was around from the 80s. Bro, it was like mid '80s, I think, man. I, like I did not know that, dude. Because we were That's... kids when it was around. Yeah, or well, I was a kid when it was around. Like maybe mid to eight, late eight. Yeah, '88. It started. 80. Yeah. I didn't know that because I, you know, I didn't have cable like that. Yeah, and I honestly didn't get into it until I think I moved to Florida, and I started watching all these animal documentaries. They're, 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 they're. First of all, why shark? The only one got a week. Ain't all these other animals out here about that shark is that one, huh? Hey, listen, man. I'm a, you, you know the argument. Every other animal got the rest of the year. The shark got the week. <laughs> Don't get mad at shark teeth. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. You know, I watched I, I watched the first Shark Week, and I always tell my mom about this. I remember this. I remember the first shark because we did have so we lived at that time. I think we were stationed in North Carolina or Oklahoma. I can't remember where we were. But one of the luxuries that we had was where my dad got us cable and it was a box and it had the um the uh like the little like the timer thing on it. That's how you change the channels, you know? Mm -hmm. It was it was a button. You moved it all around and we had got cable because when we were living on base, you you know, you got you got your base housing allowance, and my dad took a little bit of that for cable. And we were mind blown, like mind blown. And it wasn't that we had HBO and stuff like that. We had cable. What people don't realize is cable was having A and E, having like all these regular channels that you think of that come regular. You know, the Weather Channel was cable. You know, yo, so, you remember that? The yeah, Weather Channel was cable. Like the Weather Channel, you paid for the Weather Channel. Yo, bro, and, and and the Weather Channel didn't even come that important to me until I started working here in Orlando. Because yeah. of hurricanes. Hurricanes, you need to know. And then you would track. When, you, when, when you're in the, cause, so when I started working at, at Next Sprint, Next Hill Sprint, they used to play CNN. Yeah. Then um, Obama got elected. And that was, they, we couldn't do it no more. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, I wish I was making this up. Everybody, but Obama got elected. I came in the office. You know, I, I was popping bottles. <laughs> I, I was popping bottles of champagne, and the, and the guy who who's a super Republican was like, "He's just a man. Is this not important?" So as I'm as I'm spraying him with champagne, ah! uh, <laughs> we had to have a meeting, and they was like, "Look, we can't do because we were ever, it was just arguing back and forth." So they put the Weather Channel on, which was good for us because we were a tech company, yeah. and we needed to know when cell phone towers were knocked down or when a whole city yeah. was out. So that's how I got on the Weather Channel, and we were watching the Weather Channel like, like it was like you know like top tier TV every I, day, bro. I love how the Weather Channel would have like different, like just give me one weatherman. Why there's seven? Why there's seven? Yeah. I'm like, just give me one dude, have him sleep in there. Every hour he wakes up, very good. It's still raining. Why? You know, bro. Our favorite was Jim Cantori. Jim Cantori is the best. I seen him knee a dude in the balls. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim Cantori <laughs> whoop your ass, man. Hey, the thing about Jim Cantori was if, that we laughed about if he was in your city. Oh, you were messed up. It, it was Katrina. Yeah, yeah, you, <laughs> you was about to get wiped out, bro. Jim Cantori shows up, man. It's it's like it's bad news, man. Bro, if Jim Cantori showed up, bro, that was some old testament disaster. Because he's old school <laughs> Italian too. I'm sure if you trace back his family, he's like, hey, it's Benicio Cantori. I'm out here in Pompeii. What are you guys thinking? <laughs> <laughs> He was out there when they turned a uh, lot wife into salt. Yeah. Was, yeah. Jim Cantori was from Sodom and Gomorrah. Mordecai, Mordecai Cantori reporting live from Sodom and Gomorrah. I wouldn't look back. <laughs> ah, that's why you go to, to Cantori News. So you don't have to turn to salt. Now back to the Tower of Babel, if you can understand any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, the Weather Channel was my joint, man. Yo, so, yeah, so what What was another one? Weather Channel. Here's another one. Dark. For no reason, everywhere I lived, even if we didn't get cable, we got WGN. Do you oh, remember yeah. that? Uh, or, or, yeah, that was the Chicago channel. You get, right? like, Chicago news stories all the time. You're like, Chicago yes. Bulls games, bro. Bulls games yeah. and Oprah. 
I remember and watching Oprah. Oprah back in the day because my mom would watch it. And Oprah wasn't on like ABC, NBC, blah, blah. She was on WGN in the beginning. Yeah. yeah that's a good question. I wonder why we got WGN. Everybody knew what was going on in Chicago for no reason. We're like, another triple homicide. I'm like, shouldn't have worn them shoes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now, did WGN, it didn't turn into UPN, did it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. UPN, right? Because there was a time when UPN, CW, and one more came out. Warner Brothers Network. Yeah, remember yeah, they yeah, all came yeah, out. Yeah, 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 because they had all the black, all the black. Yeah, black they came shows. through just like, hey, listen, we're not gonna say anything, but I don't want white people on any of this network. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put Nick Frino license to teach. That's it. Yeah, like uh, y'all, <laughs> Nick Frino was <laughs> dope. I remember that. Yeah, I just googled it. So WGN had the affiliates of CW, Antenna TV, Grit, Rewind TV. Ooh, grit played like, grit played like cowboy movies, right? Yeah, like cowboy movies. Yeah, grit, the WB oh. Court TV. These were all affiliates of um, WGN of WGN. Yeah, but yeah, I remember WGN. Do you watch? All, I got all the Chicago all Bulls, the Bulls games. games. Bozo the Clown. Bozo the Clown was live from WGN Bozo on a Saturday morning. Clown was uh, we got Bozo the Clown. Cause you, I, I always get mad. I'm like, how can you not throw these balls? Oh my into god! this bucket. Bro? I would always get mad because remember there would be a kid playing, and then there would be a kid at home that that person was playing for. Yeah. So yeah. there'd be two. And anytime it was like a four year old kid walks up, I said, like, God damn, nobody getting that bike. <laughs> nobody getting that bike. Oh my goodness, man! I was gonna get hot with it. I was like, I'm gonna bounce them. Yo, that is facts, bro. Oh, man, Miguel. It's been a great Monday as usual, bro. Yeah, man. And we got a show this week, man. We do. We got a show this week. Guys, if you are in Gainesville, Thursday, August the 3rd, it is me, myself, James John. It's Miguel Colon Jr., Morgan Gallo, and um, a, a cat out of Gainesville, a local comic. Uh, we're going to be in Gainesville. I'll post it up on our uh, Instagram page, so you guys, Facebook page, so you guys make sure you come check us out. And then Friday, I got a corporate gig with uh, Morgan as well. And Saturday, doing a brand new joke joint with Alex Soto. Alex Soto has the joke joint, so I'm going to do that. Ooh, zoo gig. suit riot. Zoo <laughs> suit, yeah. <laughs> So we got Gainesville with the Real Labs crew. I got a corporate gig, and then Saturday I got Alex Soto, the joke joint. Where you at this weekend, bro? That's it, man. Just Gainesville, and I'm taking this weekend off. I love the Gainesville show, too. They're like, hey, guys, show's at 9. If you can get there at 7.30, I was like, 8.50 on the dot, player. Yeah, yeah. I'll beat I, it. I, That's a two-hour drive, player. Uh, yeah, I already told them I got to work. I'm going to be getting there as the shows as they yeah. as they running the show credits. I'm going to be walking in the door because I got to work. I let told me, her 10 me, minutes me, after my set starts, I'll be there. Yeah, let me tell y'all a story about us comedians, especially we've been doing it for a long time. We are not coming to your show an hour and a half before the show starts. Yeah, you better be feeding me. Hey, Visani's? Yeah. I get to Visani's two hours yeah. before eating steak courses and yeah, everything. Yeah. Other than that, my brother, we are not coming through, man. But so if you got it, if you're in the Gainesville area, make sure you come check us out. That's Miguel Colon Jr. James is out doing some stuff with his family. Uh, maybe I'm Ken Miller. We got to go, man. Brand new shows this week, so make sure you stay tuned in. Miguel, tell him what to do. Take your ass to bed. Good night.